1998, this would have been good graphics. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a Madonna themed stream. It's a mouthful, wow, I keep getting it wrong tonight. Uh, and we're going through the ages from early to later. Now, this one has been put forward by Kelly 30 Seconds to Mars. It's a song called Frozen. It's from 1998 and she tells me it's from a, a, an album called Ray of Light. That's news to me. I don't recognise the title of this uh, song, but I think it's a little... In 1998, it's a little bit too early for Let It Go, Let It Go, isn't it? From the film Frozen. Unless this was wrote first in this. Anyway, uh, before we jump into this reaction, if you do actually like my videos, then please consider hitting like and subscribe. And the link to this video will be down in the description for anyone who wants to check it out by themselves. So, without further ado, Madonna, Frozen. Let it go, let it go. He's crazy. It's not going to be that, is it? <laughs> let's go. Well, let's go. <laughs> Strings. She's floating. You only see what your eyes want to see. Okay. How can life be what you want it to be? You're frozen when your heart's not open. Okay. You're so consumed with how much you get You waste your time with hate and regret You're broken when your heart's not open Who's she talking to? She's talking about people who, who are unfeeling You only see what your eyes want to see You only... What did she say now? Something about... It felt like she was talking about greed what was the lyric? I can't remember. But she was talking, it felt like she was talking about greed. People who can't see what they're doing to other people because of greed. That's what it sounds like to me. This this gave me, um, when looking at her, it gave me the, the look of Evanescence. Obviously, it doesn't sound like Evanescence, don't get me wrong. But I feel like her voice has changed here from the early days. It's deeper and it's, it seems more controlled. Hmm, it's interesting, this. Time with pain and regret, you're broken. This feels like a, um, a culture change, maybe, or a, a style change. This is not your typical Madonna type of song for me. Um, and if I'd heard this on the radio or something without knowing it was Madonna, I probably wouldn't have said it was Madonna. It's very, very different. I like the... It's very dark. It's very moody. I like the um, almost tin can drums in the background that you can hear every now and again. It's... Uh, very, very interesting, this. I don't know what the references of three Madonnas are. I don't know. But, I mean, she's talking to somebody um, who's a very unfeeling person who's got a black heart and she's trying to melt it. Then we'll be together. We'll never be apart. If, if you know, if you can if you can show your feelings, if you like. You're, uh, you're so consumed with hate and regret, she said before, didn't she? Because you've got a black heart, probably. She's trying to bring somebody out of... Being an unfeeling person. The frozen is the black art. That's what I reckon. Now there's no point in placing the blame. And you should know I suffer the same if I lose 
She loves this person. Love is a bird. She needs to fly. Let all the hurt inside of you die. You're frozen when your heart's not open. Okay. So the person who's in her life is has maybe had a trauma. And they keep that the hate and regret that the, the that she speaks of, saying that love needs to be free. You've got love needs to be free. That's what she's trying to say. She she loves this person, and she's trying to get them to get over whatever it is they're going through. I see. There's a positive here. I'm not sure where why the fuck she turned into a panther or whatever it was. It was, uh, but in 1998, this would have been good graphics, <laughs> good effects. Horror movie like. There's a lot sonically going on. Oh, it's a dog, not a panther. <laughs> it's like a witch. This is cool. This is like a film score. This is this felt like, do you know when you get to the end of a film, like a horror film or a film with witches or, you know, entities in it, and they get to the end and they, they're going to fight the witch or whatever it is, and then she went, she like flew up into the sky, the the the, the night was coming in, you know, she's sucking all this black shit in, and, you know, it felt it felt very turbulent, it felt like someone was going to come and fight her, um, maybe with guns and shit or crosses and fucking whatever you kill a witch with, but he tried to drown her. I'll burn them at the stake, whatever you do. But, uh, yeah, it, uh, joking aside, it's very, very... I can honestly say I've never heard a song like this. Music, the the the, the drums, the, the everything's very, very... I wouldn't say random, but it feels... There's like four or five different songs mixed into one. That's what it feels like to me. Cool instruments in this.
Elvira or something like that. I feel like she's meddling herself on someone like that. Wow, I didn't want that to end. But that was brilliant. That's my favourite one of the night so far. That was cool. Um, it feels like it was maybe a experimental sound for her because there was a lot going on in that, that song, even though it wasn't massively overloaded with instruments and melodies and stuff. It was like uh, there was a bit here, then there was a bit there, then there was stuff going left and right in the headphones, and then there was like strings, and then it's changed completely. Got loads of like weird sounds going on. It was like it was very very interesting. And, wow, I would never said I would never have said Madonna would have made a song like this. I'm gonna check the meaning of this song. I wanna know what's going on. Okay, um, Frozen was released as a lead single from their own seventh studio album, A Ray of Light. Uh, a mid-tempo electronic ballad, and the song talks about a cold and emotionless person, Black Heart, like I said before. Acclaimed by the music critics as and often described as a masterpiece, I would fucking say so. That was awesome. Um, the single was also a worldwide commercial success on the Billboard Hot 100, and it peaked at number two, while in the UK singles chart, it was Madonna's first single to debut at the number one. So uh, the single also reached number one in Finland, Greece, Hungary, Italy, Scotland, and Spain, and the top in the top five everywhere else. Um, wow, right. Madonna described herself as a mystical creature in the desert in this film, in this video. I, I would go along with that. Absolutely, I really enjoyed that. That's cool. That is going on my playlist. I don't care what anybody says. I, I want to hear that again. Brilliant. What a good request, Kelly. Thank you very, very much. It was uh, refreshing. Anyway, if you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe, and I shall see you on the next one.